Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nelia Varado and I'm a money, mindset and manifestation coach. Remember to like this video and subscribe. In this video, we're going to do a whole EFT process with a limited belief around money, which the beautiful Karen, hi Karen, asked me in one of the polls that I did. This is what Karen said. Feeling like you could never have a lot of money because you didn't come from a rich family and you don't feel worthy and confident around rich people. And this really hit me because I have been there. I know how this feels. There has been times when I felt like this even entering to a designer store where I just didn't feel worthy of being in a designer store because I could not really pay for those stuff in that moment. You feel like you have a sticker in your head and says like, I'm not supposed to be here or I cannot pay for this. And this is something that makes you feel very uncomfortable around this kind of environment, around this kind of people because you don't feel worthy of being around this. Or even having some certain level of anxiety by exposing yourself to these situations where you are talking to someone who is very wealthy or you go to these places where it just it feels like wealth where you feel uncomfortable because you, your mind goes into but you're not you don't belong here right? it's like a, a sense of not belonging thankfully i've been able to shift that to the point where i do feel comfortable around going to certain store or different places living those kind of experiences and being like oh this is comfortable this is nice and i deserve this i've been there and i know how i feel so let's just go to the eft tapping session so you can do it with me by the way i am putting together a beautiful program eft program tapping into a wealthy woman so if you're interested of doing this with me together for a whole week check down below in the description box there's a waiting list you can get on and we're gonna be doing this we're gonna get rid of all those beliefs first of all we're gonna tap into what this belief is this belief really translates into i don't belong here i feel uncomfortable around money and wealth i feel unworthy i feel uncomfortable around people who have more money than me or i feel like i could never have more money than them i feel like they're somehow different than me or a belief that only people who come from a rich family or a rich background can have money once we have a list of this core beliefs we can actually tap into the belief and uncover it and really work with it and be like hey i'm giving you light i'm seeing you now i know that you are not working on my favor so i want you out of the way so i could feel and i can experience a different experience so you don't serve me we don't need you let's get them out of the way because they're not serving us now i want you to feel how these statements feel in your body is it causing any anxiety any fear any sadness frustration remember that emotions are just indicators they're not good they're not bad they just simply indicate where we are and the things that we need to work on. Negative emotions are just usually indicators of our blocks. For example, if we feel envious of someone, it means that we look at them and feel like we are not like them or we feel like they have that and I don't. So there is a block that means, oh, my mind doesn't think I can have that. So that's why we feel that emotion towards seeing that. We feel envious of someone because we want what they have, but our mind doesn't go into, oh, I can have that, great for them. You can have it, I can have it. It goes to more like they have it, that means I cannot have it because we're very different. Beliefs are just thoughts that you keep thinking. It's just thought that you think you've thought over and over and over and over, that's it. But we can always change them. Those beliefs that you keep thinking and thinking and thinking, it becomes a reality. Your belief is what you expect. A root belief is something that you kept thinking that you saw and you believed that. Let's say when you were young, you saw that your parents believed something about money and you actually experienced that today because you saw that growing up and you think that is the truth. But to be honest, that doesn't mean that is the truth. But it's true for you, it's not true for me. So that's how belief works because our minds and our beliefs are not the same. But the good thing is that as your beliefs start to shift, your internal world starts to shift and so does the external because you believe something different and as you believe something different you create something new you create a new reality you create new thoughts you create new actions that will take you somewhere different than when you were before the external reality which is 
what we live in the 3D world catches up to the internal reality at some point. But beliefs create a trigger emotional response in our bodies. For example, when you check your bank account, you feel anxiety because once happened that you didn't have much money, let's say you didn't want to check your bank account, but you had to and they, that gave you a lot of anxiety and the thought of like, oh, I have no money, money's running out, just came to you that gave you so much anxiety, but just one action of looking at your bank account and that really stayed in your body. That's your reaction to that belief. Every time now that you check your bank account, the same emotional response comes to your body. It triggers your body into an emotion. You start sweating, you feel anxious, you have sort of the same thoughts over and over again. This is just a response that we kept practicing over and over. But every time now that we do the action, we feel the emotional response, so we avoid doing the action. And that's just, it's, it's a circle, it's a vicious circle. But it's just attached to a belief and beliefs can change. That's the positive thing about this. Maybe that means every time I check my bank account, I see less and less. Just translate to the belief of money's running out of my bank account. I'm broke, what am I gonna do? I have no money, blah, 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 blah. Even though you're seeing money that way in that moment, money is really just always replenishing. That's just how it works. That's how the world works. Money just goes out of your bank account, it comes back. But in our mind, we see it as like, it will never come back, which is not true. I don't know if you've ever been into that experience where your bank account is zero and it always comes back, always. It's always in circulation, it's just a means of exchange. Now let's go back to those emotions where you feel those limited beliefs. Feel it in your body. Where do you feel it? Is it in your stomach? Is it in your heart, in your throat? Where do you feel those emotions when you go back to those thoughts of feeling like you will never have enough money because you didn't come from a rich family, which translates to the belief that we talked about. Just really tune in in your body. Where do you feel this as you think of this belief? Just allow it to come, it's just there. Just watch it, that's it. Just be an observer of it. Notice on how you feel when you focus on this belief that's keeping you anxious or sad or giving you some sort of emotional trigger. And now I want you to rate this belief from one to five. Five being the strongest, like you feel it very, very strong. Or maybe a three, or maybe you believe this, but not that strong, so it could be a two. I want you to rate it from one to five and write it down so we can rate it again at the end. So we're gonna start with the karate shop point, which is here, and repeat after me. Even though I'm holding onto this belief that makes me feel uncomfortable around money, I choose to relax and feel safe now. Even though I'm holding on to this belief that I'm unworthy of money, I choose to love and honor myself in this moment. Even though I'm holding on to this belief that only people who come from money can have money, I choose to love and accept myself unconditionally. Round two, we're gonna tap into the limited belief. What is the limited belief? So we're gonna go with the top of the head. I have this belief that's making me feel unworthy. Top of the eyebrow. And that I feel uncomfortable around money and wealth. Side of the eye. Because somehow I learned this when I was growing up. Underneath the eye. That I wasn't worthy of money because I didn't have it. Top of the lip. And they did, and I thought they were better than me because of it. Chin. And this has made me feel my whole life. And it's making me feel right now. Collarbone. I believe I'll never have a lot of money like them. Side of the arm. I feel this is holding me back into creating more of it. Top of the head. I have this belief that it's making me feel unworthy. Top of the eyebrow. And that I feel uncomfortable around money and wealth. Side of the eye. 
because somehow I learned this when I was growing up. Underneath the eye. That I wasn't worthy of money, of receiving money, because I didn't have it. Top of the lip. And they did have money, and that made me think that they were better than me because of that. Chin. And this has made me feel in the past. And it's making me feel right now. Collarbone. I have this belief that I'll never have as much money as them. Side of the arm. I feel this is holding me back into creating and attracting more of it. Round three, we're gonna keep facing the fears with different affirmations or different ways of reframing the belief. Top of the head. I have this belief that they are somehow better than me or different than me. Top of the eyebrow. Because they grew up with money and I didn't. Side of the eye. And I learned this when close your eyes and find a moment in your past where you think you learned this belief, where you think this was the root of this belief. And think about it. Underneath the eye. And I have this belief that they are worthy of money and I'm not. Top of the lip. And that makes me feel uncomfortable around them. That makes me feel uncomfortable around wealthy environments. That makes me feel uncomfortable around wealthy people. Chin. Because somewhere in the past, I thought this was the truth. Collarbone. I feel uncomfortable just to even desire more money. Side of the arm. And that makes me feel, find a word that you feel identified with in this moment. Round four, we're gonna take that belief and really think if this is true or not. We're gonna challenge this belief. Ready? Top of the head. But then I ask myself, is this really the truth? Top of the eyebrow. Does growing up with not a lot of money makes me unworthy of receiving it now? Side of the eye. Are they really better than me because of it? Does money dictate your worth? Underneath the eye. Is this the ultimate truth? Or is this false belief that I thought once? Top of the lip. Truth is, I can create the same financial reality or even better. It's up to me. Chin. And they're no more special than anyone else in the world because they have more money. Or they grew up with money. Collarbone. There are humans, human beings living an experience like me and growing up with more money than me doesn't make them better than me. It does not make me less than them. Side of the arm. 
Many people who didn't come from a lot of money have created massive fortunes. Step two, substitute with new positive beliefs. Round one, top of the head. From this moment, I choose to change this limited belief and I choose not to believe it anymore. Top of the eyebrow. Because a lot of people who have not come from money are incredibly wealthy right now. And I can do the same. Side of the eye. Many multimillionaires and billionaires were once where I am right now. Underneath the eye. They are no different than me. Top of the lip. I choose to feel comfortable around money and wealth. Chin. Because deep down I know that I'm deserving of all the money and wealth I desire. Collarbone. Deep down I know that my financial reality does not dictate my worth. Side of the arm. It's okay. It's okay and I allow myself to feel comfortable around money. Round two, top of the head. It's okay for me to desire more money into my life. Top of the eyebrow. I'm willing to let go of these limited beliefs that are not serving me. Side of the eye. The truth is I can have what they have or even better. And I can create a better financial reality for myself. Underneath the eye. It's okay to feel safe and it's okay to be surrounded by wealth and feel comfortable around wealth. Top of the lip. Because me having more money, it's a very good thing. Chin. Because I know there is people out there who have it all. Collarbone. And they are no different than me. I can have it all as well. Side of the arm. I am ready to let go of this belief that is blocking my abundance. Round three, top of the head, last round, let's go. I'm starting to see differently and feel different about it. Top of the eyebrow. Now I know there's no reason for me not to be and experience abundance. Side of the eye. That it is okay to feel comfortable around money and people who have more money than me. Underneath the eye. That me having more money, it's an amazing thing. I deserve it. Top of the lip. And I get to have a lot of money as well. Chin. I get to enjoy feeling comfortable around money and wealth. Collarbone. Because wealth feels like home. I'm meant to be wealthy. Side of the arm. And I'm fully allowing to receive more of that. Whew. Now, write down from one to five 
how strong this belief feels. If it still feels very strong, let's say like a four, you keep doing it until it goes down to like a zero or a one. And with EFT tapping, it's a great way to really ease those emotions and feel more comfortable. When you think those thoughts, you just have to practice it more often and just do it until you feel nothing, So if you really right? liked this video and enjoyed it, please like it and subscribe. Love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and see you around.